What's up everybody and welcome to the course where I'll be teaching you how to create a full scale social media website using PHP, HTML, CSS, some MySQL, JavaScript, some jQuery and all that good stuff. Although the finished product is likely to have much of the same functionalities as you'd find in Facebook or Twitter, there's no saying you can't go down a different direction if you want to. For example, you'll become so proficient in the languages we're using by the end of this course that you can quite easily modify this to make it into anything you want such as a YouTube style application or an Instagram style website, anything like that. You can even come up with your own ideas. Who knows, it might end up being the next big thing. So I'm gonna log in right now and show you what we're dealing with. So here we are, the user logs in and this is what they're presented with, the news feed, where they can view posts from friends, including embedded posts, like this. They can comment on posts, they can like and unlike, or in this case, bump and unbump, just to make it a little bit different. You can view trending posts and words that are currently popular. You can search for users in the live search bar. So I'll search for a user right here. And you can click on it and it'll take you straight to their profile. Where you can view all their posts. You can leave them a post if you want to. You can add or remove them as a friend. You can send them a message and view your previous conversations. In the top bar right here, you'll also see notifications, such as messages and your previous conversations here. So I'll just click on a user right now that I've been talking to. So as you can see, Georgia doesn't really want to respond to my messages. No, I'm just kidding. These are all fake users I've created that look like real people. So anyway, down here you can see the conversations you've had in the order they were last active. And you can click on them and it'll take you to that conversation. Another thing to notice is up here. In the, if I click on the notifications tab, notice how the two disappears the little badge with the number that tells you how many of them are unread. You got white ones and blue ones. If I click on one right here, notice how it's turned white, meaning that it's red. Although I close it, it's, that still tells me that I haven't seen it yet. So I can click on that, and take me to the post. If I go on friend request, I can accept or ignore this person's friend request. So I'll ignore it for now. So there we are. There's a short breakdown of the main functionality of this website. Although there are much more things I haven't shown you yet, such as the ability to change user details, close your account, and that sort of thing, we'll be getting into that in this course. So here we go, you're about to take your first steps in becoming a web developer or PHP programmer, and I'll be with you every step of the way.